Well, what I've got now is the two pieces that will be glued together to make up the head of the mallet and this one and a half by one and a half inch square uh, piece of material that's going to be the handle. Now, I'm using poplar only because it's what I have. I don't know if that's the recommended wood for a mallet or not, but it's what I've got, so it's what I'm going to use. What I've started to do is I've started to lay out, and I don't know how well you can see this or not, but I've started to lay out the basic shape of the mallet. Taking some time to lay out how I want the, t the head of the mallet to look, and as well as the handle. And so the next step is to basically uh, start machining these pieces of material. What I can do is I can glue up the two pieces that are going to make up the head and let those dry. I can take the handle material, put it in the lathe, and start turning that up. Now what I've decided to do is I've decided to make a tenon in the head of the mallet that's going to be you know, it's going to go up into the head of mallet, ahead of the mallet quite quite far. Uh, so I have a shoulder here, and then I have this shape of the handle, which comes down to the bottom. Now I'm going to have to leave it about a half an inch material on the end, so that when I turn it, I'm not uh, I'm not turning directly on the end of the piece of material. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I've got this basic design to work with. I'm kind of concerned about the width of the head of the mallet though because in relationship to the length of the handle the head seems a little narrow but you know what I'm going to stick with it this is going to be the first mallet I've ever made so I'm just going to just going to do it so I will get going with turning up the blank for the handle and I'll get back with you in a little bit